Welcome to Legal Aid, and thank you for taking a few moments to find out more about our software. Legal Aid is a legal description writer that works right inside of AutoCAD. Simply select the entities that make up your parcel, and Legal Aid does the rest. But what about scenarios where the front or back lot lines are one long line that spans several lots? In this case, we simply tell Legal Aid to use points instead of entities. In this example, a simple endpoint snap is all we need to pick the corners from the drawing. In addition to the parcel itself, you can include the point of commencement along with courses leading up to the POB, and once the courses are entered, you can enter text descriptions for each corner. The description can be typed in or picked right from the text in the drawing. Then, when you're finished, Legal Aid goes to work and creates the description. When new legal descriptions are created, they are displayed right inside of Legal Aid's own word processor where you can take care of any final editing or formatting tasks. The word processor includes character and paragraph formatting routines, as well as routines to convert text to uppercase or lowercase as desired. You can also enter a forced page break, a degree symbol, the current date, and other symbols. The last item on the Insert menu allows you to insert another file into the legal description. You could use this to insert standard phrases that you use, or if you wanted to use an alternate preamble in the description. Legal Aid also includes a full featured spell checker that checks spelling as you type. Words that aren't recognized are underlined in red. Simply right-click the underlined word, and Legal Aid displays a list of suggested words for you to choose from. The Reverse command reverses the direction of the description. In other words, if the legal description goes in a clockwise direction, this command will change it to go counterclockwise and vice versa. And of course, once you're finished editing the description, you can save or print it as desired. Descriptions are saved as industry standard RTF files, which means that they can be easily opened by other word processors such as Microsoft Word or WordPerfect. One thing I haven't talked about yet is how easy it is to configure Legal Aid. In designing Legal Aid, we've worked hard to create a program that not only is highly configurable, but one that's easy to configure as well. Legal Aid works by analyzing your parcel and then building the legal description from a collection of phrases. All of these phrases are stored in what we call a phrase library and are fully editable by you. In addition, there are three separate phrase libraries that you can use, which allows you to create separate layouts depending on your needs. To switch to a different phrase library, simply select it from the Phrases menu. The legal description is then automatically rebuilt using the phrases and formatting from the new phrase library. Here you can see the legal description with double spacing between each course. And when I switch to the third phrase library, you can see that it resembles a point list enclosure report. Each of these are created from the same underlying legal description. The numbers themselves have not been changed, only the layout and format. So, just how easy is it to modify a phrase library? First, make sure that the phrase library you want to edit is currently selected. Next, on the Phrases menu, select Edit Phrases. Here you have access to all of the settings that determine how the phrases appear in the legal description. The first tab contains settings for the number of decimals to display. And as you can see, you have control over virtually anything in the legal description. Note also that you have individual control over English units and metric units, which means you don't have to go back and change the decimal settings if you need to switch to meters. The Distance tab controls how distances will appear in the description. You can choose to use feet or meters and whether to capitalize the unit names. You can also choose how you want distances formatted. 
For instance, you can show distances as a number or fully spelled out. You can also choose to have what we call a supplemental distance. A supplemental distance is a distance that's displayed in parentheses right after the main distance. You can use a supplemental distance to show distances in an alternate format. For instance, if we select the meters option, then our distances will appear with the regular distance first, followed by the distance in meters as shown here. Next are the formatting options for angles, and just as with distances, you can choose to show the angles using regular bearing notation, fully spelled out, or somewhere in between. And, as with distances, you can choose to include a supplemental angle in the description as well. For instance, you could have all the bearings spelled out, and then have the actual bearing displayed in parentheses as shown here. You can also control how cardinal directions are displayed in the description, as well as general directions. The next five tabs include the actual phrases that are used to build the legal description. Each phrase is entered as text with embedded placeholders or fields for the bearings, distances, and other values that will be inserted into the description. For example, in the phrase for a line, you can see the field for the bearing right here, and then the distance here. And if you enter the description for this point, it will be displayed here at the Foresight description. You can type the placeholders directly into the phrase or select them from a list of fields by clicking the Add Field button. Here you will find all the fields grouped by category. For instance, for lines, you can select a bearing or distance the northing and easting of the point, or its direction. Likewise, for curves, you can choose any of the curve components, such as delta, radius, arc length, and so on, as well as the curve direction, specified in a number of ways. And also the radial and tangent bearings, as well as the coordinates for the PC, PT, and the radius point of the curve. Moving on to areas, you can choose to display the area as it would be calculated using the actual rounded values in your legal description, or by using full double precision values without any rounding. You can even put in both of these areas at the same time, as you can see here when I switch to Phrase Library 3. You can also include closure information. And there are also other fields such as carriage returns or tabs that you can use. And finally, Legal Aid comes with a complete set of training videos that will introduce you to its many features and help you to learn how to use them. So, as you can see, Legal Aid is fast. It does not run as a list routine or word processing macro, but as a fully compiled object-oriented program. It's easy to use. There are no configuration files to mess with and no cryptic codes to remember. Everything is presented to you in the phrase editor with clear choices for the options you can choose from. And Legal Aid is highly configurable. You can modify any of the phrases in the phrase library as well as select from a wide variety of formats for angles and distances. If you want to find out more about Legal Aid or wish to place an order, you can do so at our website at www.agtcad.com. From the home page, click on Products and then Legal Aid. You can also contact us directly at 1-800-548-9223.